Hello creative people and welcome to this channel. This is Miriam. Today we are going to paint with charcoal and watercolor. So I took a vote here on the channel and most people voted on a tutorial on how to use charcoal and watercolors together. So that's what we are going to give a go today. And we are going to paint these two. They are quite easy to make, so uh, I thought we should start out uh, easy and then we can always make it more uh, hard uh, later on in later videos. This is just to introduce you to the charcoal as well. So, But this is the first painting we're going to paint and then we're going to make this. And yeah, you can really do some nice things with charcoal in a painting so and I'm using my Daniel Smith watercolors and these are the colors we are going to use uh, in the first painting and this is the one we will begin with and then we have a charcoal pen uh, this is a pen where you can put in the charcoal uh, you don't have to have one of these. You can also just have this one. It works fine. It's called Willow Charcoal. So this is what we're going to use in this video. Then you need some masking tape to mask out your paper. And, or secure your paper, I would say. <laughs> then we need some water and a cloth to uh, dry off your brushes and but let's get started. <laughs> okay. okay, I have put masking tape on my paper and I have this over here because I have a painting here. Uh, last week's painting actually. So we want to protect that. So I put a piece of paper on here. But I begin with the charcoal. So I will draw in some trees and I'll just do this with a very light hand. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I will uh, put the trees in, not all on the same line, but with uh, a space between them like this. And over here we will have some light coming in, so I will just go in easy with the charcoal. And I sort of roll the charcoal a little bit when I go up, because I don't want the lines to be too even. And we have a little tree as well. So this can give it some more color if you like. So this was the first. Oh, I just missed one down here. Then I go in with my watercolor brush, size 6. Then I just wet the paper and go over the charcoal with a wet brush. And then I will pick up some paint gray and I'll start to put that in the trees. Then I have my cobalt seal I want to go in with, so I pick up some of that and I just drop it in. I'm be being very loose with my brush. Uh, I want this to, to be quite a loose painting. And 
from here we have some sun coming in so I'm just uh, doing these lines or whatever you can call it with my brush and then I pick up some of the perlin green and I just begin to dab that in as well and we are working wet and wet oops got the wrong one <laughs> that's okay as long as it's green <laughs> Then I go, I want to wet this area as well. And I, oops, I took the wrong green again. So this was the right one. A dark green, perine green. Then I have some uh, uh, pick up some of the sap green. I really want some quite bright green color here. Like that. And I'm just making a watery mix of the cobalt teal because I want to put in some more of that here and I go in again with some more peridin green And I will pick up some paint gray, some more of that, because I want the trees to be a little bit darker. We've got quite a pool of water here, so I'm just taking some of that water off with my damp brush. And then I go in with some paint gray. And then, when I'm satisfied with how everything looks, I will allow the whole thing to dry. And then we will come back again with some of the charcoal. Okay, so now everything is dry and I've picked up my willow charcoal. So I'm just going to define some more with this. I'm just like rolling it a little bit just to get some uneven lines in the trees. And uh, last in the video, after we finished, finished the second painting as well. I will show you how I make the charcoal stay on the paper. How I fix it, I believe you call it. <laughs> so stay tuned. 
for that. I'm sort of just rolling my charcoal a little bit just to get some uneven lines. And then I add in some shadow. And then I can take my finger and soften it a little bit. And this is where I like the tex texture of this paper because uh, I think it looks quite nice with some texture. And I can, if I think it's a little bit too light in places, I can go in with my finger and just put in the charcoal. Do the same here. And then I think we need some splatter. So I will make a quite a watery mix of the sap green. And I will go like this. You can also do this, then the splatters get a little smaller, but I don't want too much, just a little bit. So yes, this was the first one. I really think this is quite beautiful. Very simple and easy to make, but nonetheless beautiful. But let's continue with the next one, which is a landscape painting. I'm just protecting my the rest of the paper down here, but I have put masking tape on my paper um, because I would like to have some nice and white crispy edges here. And these are the colors we're going to use for this painting. And like before, I will begin with the charcoal and um, I will make a line not uh, completely in the middle because that doesn't make such a great painting but either a line a little over the middle or a little under it's up to you what you prefer I believe I will put it a little up like this and then I'm just going to make not a straight line, but I'm just uh, suggesting that there are trees in the background. And I'm just painting that in with my charcoal. I'm taking my large brush and then I'm just doing like this over the paper. I'm wetting the whole paper and perhaps we should begin with the sky. I'll go in with some paint gray and just sweep it like this. up some of my cerulean blue and just put in a little bit of that here and it's quite a dramatic sky so perhaps I'll pick up a little more paint gray and just Again, pick 
up some paint gray and put it in here. In the trees. Just to darken it up a little bit. And now it's time to go in with some Crinacridone gold. Quite a beautiful and bright color. I'll just swipe it up here, like that. And then I'll swipe it down like this, like it's a field. field. So we will get some lines that go this way and this way. Yeah. yeah. It gives the painting interest if uh, we have some uh, lines that are not all the same. Okay. I will just pick up some some raw umber. I hope you have that in your stats because I just want some up some perilline green and put that in here as well. This is green acrid on gold. Yes. Then we will let this dry and then we will come back. But let's continue with the painting. I've found my size two brush. Everything is dry now, and I want to have some grasses down here. And I'll begin with the paints gray. I'll just go in and swipe some grasses in. Then I dip, dip my brush in the water and come back. And I'm just going in different directions. And then I will pick up some of the perrin green and put that in as well. And then I will pick up some of the green acrid on gold and also swipe in some of them. You can just do some small marks if you want to, just to make a little bit of interest here in the foreground. I'll just go over in the bottom with my quite wet brush and just blend it a little bit together here. Then, while this is drying, I can go in here with my charcoal and just to find some more. And 
then we'll just let this dry and then we'll come back and now this is dry and i will go in with my charcoal and make some more dresses some more definition as well here in the painting. Just use my finger to smudge it a little bit. and I think I'm quite pleased with how this looks now. Sometimes you need to sharpen your charcoal so you can make some uh, more fine lines uh, in your painting. So if you have a piece of sandpaper, you can just rub the charcoal on that and then uh, you can sharpen it. That's a good idea sometimes but now i will show you how to fix this now i ran out of fixative so luckily i had some hairspray so that is what i'm going to use for this it works pretty good i think um, the charcoal drawings i've made so far this is working fine so i'm just going to spray that on and then we will fix the charcoal to the paper so it won't smudge. That should be enough. And then of course we just let it dry and then we can take off the masking tape. So now everything is dry and I will remove the masking tape using my hairdryer so I won't tear the paper. go you have a very pretty painting just writing in my name here um, and in a couple of weeks I believe it will be um, I will put on a tutorial on how to draw with charcoal um, so if you're interested in a charcoal tutorial it will be here on this channel in a couple of weeks i hope to see you there charcoal is a very interesting medium and uh, yeah you can get very beautiful results but um, nice to see you here and i hope to see you again in another video bye for now